Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this week's edition of Blazers Inside Access. I'm Kirk McDonald. It's Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and it's a special day on the campus of Belhaven University as Belhaven Athletics will go out into the Jackson community and serve on this special day. They'll go to various community organizations around the city, and we're going to follow them and see what they're up to today on this MLK Day. Welcome back to this week's edition of Inside Access. We're here with Andrew St. Clair, the uh, men's uh, cross-country team. We're at the Red Cross here in Jackson. Uh, Andrew, uh, what are you guys doing today here at the Red Cross? Well, right now we're just cleaning out an old garage, putting some water on the shelves, um, putting some stuff in storage, just cleaning things up in general. How do you feel about today? Is this something that you guys look forward to and, and kind of helping out in the community? Well, it's a day off class, so that's great, and it's a chance we get to help the community and um, sweat a little bit, so it's all good. What else are you guys doing here today? Um, I'm not really sure right now, just um, trying to make things a little bit neater. They have stuff from a, a few current recent disasters and um, just kind of laying out everywhere. We're trying to just put it up on the shelves, um, make, give them some extra space, stuff like that. All right, thanks a lot for joining us today. You're welcome. Good to be here. We're back on Inside Access. We're here at Mission First in Jackson, Mississippi. I'm joined by Bellhaven uh, running back Cadero Edley. Cadero, uh, what are you all doing out here today at Mission First? Um, we're doing a little uh, community service, help the people out a little bit, you know. Nothing, nothing too major, just a little, a little work we need to do. It's like doing some yard work, raking, just helping yeah. out around the area? Yeah. yeah. So what is this like, kind of being out here with your teammates, helping the community and, and serving others? I mean, to me, with us doing this community service as a team, I mean, it really builds, builds a lot of character, you know, bring, bring us together a little bit more, you know. All right, Kadera, thanks a lot. No problem. We're here with uh, Victor Herlin of the uh, men's golf team here at Mission First. Uh, Victor, uh, what are you all out here working with uh, today, and, and what are you helping out with at Mission First? Well, today we're, uh, we're out here at Mission First, and we're helping, like, raking people's yards and, and just helping them out, like, because, like, er, like everyone doesn't have the, have the time to do their own yards. So, like, I think it's important that we're here and doing this today. All right, Victor, thanks a lot for joining us today. Thank you. We're here with Sarah Carr, the Bellhaven women's basketball team at the Perkins Center. Uh, Sarah, what are you all doing today uh, here on this MLK Day service day? Uh, we're taking the fence line all the way down, about three houses down, clean, raking up the leaves, cleaning up the mud a little bit, just trying to make it look a little nicer around here. What's it like uh, working with your teammates on a project like this in Sermon and Community? It definitely helps bring a sense of um, togetherness to the team. It makes you feel like you're doing something for you know, common good, not just to win a game or to get better as a team. So it definitely brings you closer as a team and uh, brings that core together, of people that, you know, helping other people. Gives you a good sense of, a good feeling about it. All right, thank you. No problem. We're here with uh, Belhaven women's soccer coach, Josue Savion. Coach, uh, your team is out here at the Perkins Center today. What are you all helping with? Hey, we're just helping out, picking up trash, uh, raking up leaves, and uh, just doing anything that they ask us to do. So with a good heart and uh in a good spirit, we're all uh, having fun and trying to uh, help out. What does this do for your team as far as building their camaraderie and, and just being able to serve as a team on this MLK Day? Uh, like anything, uh, doing things together, it helps uh, uh, any group you know, just bond. So for us to uh, serve but at the same time have uh, fun and take pictures and video, uh, just help us to have a uh, good memory so we can show them later. So for overall, it's, it's, a, it's a great benefit, not just for us, but for the ones that we serve. All right, Coach, thanks a lot, and thank thanks you. for joining us on today's Inside Access. All right, thank you. We're with uh, Terrence Stringfellow, the uh, men's basketball team. Terrence, uh, start off by telling us where you're from and uh, what you all are doing here today at the Wingard House. All right, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, uh, right here at the Wingard House. Uh, it's a bunch of furniture they have uh, that needs to be organized, so we're just bringing it back out. Uh, just trying to get everything reorganized and uh, put it back in there. What is it like serving with your team and helping out with a community service project here on Martin Luther King Day? Uh, it's great. Uh, it's making us come together, makes us more family. Um, other than just basketball, we can uh, get together and uh, work hard. Is this something that you've kind of looked forward to each of your years here at being, as a, being a senior? It is, it is. Um, people just see us as basketball players, but, um, you know, we, we love to serve as well. So just coming out with this today is just helping out a lot. All right, thanks a lot, Terrence. Right, thank Welcome you. back to this week's edition of Blazers Inside Access. Let's get to all the action from this past week in men's and women's basketball. But first, our C Spire Athlete of the Week is Jordan Butts. Butts had a couple of good solid performances last week. He scored 16 points against the University of Mobile and then 26 points against Auburn University Montgomery. Unfortunately, the Blazers lost both those games. They fell to Auburn Montgomery 67-66 and the University of Mobile, 65-59.
In women's basketball, the Blazers also suffered a couple of losses to the University of Mobile and Auburn Montgomery. The women fell 60-44 against Mobile and 61-44 at AUM. The men's and women's basketball teams will both be on the road this week for a couple of games, beginning on Thursday at William Carey University. The women tip off at 5.30, the men at 7.30, and then both teams head on the road on Saturday to take on Loyola University in New Orleans. 2 o'clock and 4 o'clock are the tip-offs there, beginning with the women's basketball game. And folks, don't forget that Bellhaven Baseball opens up their regular season on Friday as they host Blue Mountain College at 4 p.m. at Smithville Stadium. And then they wrap up the brief two-game series on Saturday with a 2 o'clock first pitch at Smithville Stadium. This wraps up this special edition of Blazers Inside Access. Glad you could join us this week. And don't forget about all the action this week in Blazers Athletics with men's and women's basketball on the road at William Carey and Loyola. And, of course, Bellhaven Baseball at home against Blue Mountain on Friday and Saturday. Both those baseball games can be viewed live on the Blazers Sports Network. First pitch on Friday at 4 o'clock. And don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at Bellhaven Blazers. This has been another edition of Blazers Inside Access. I'm Kirk McDonald. Have a great week.